to you, we get to see what really happens when you fall off the islands. Well, playing the blame game doesn't exactly do a lot of good right now. What does it matter? It matters because my entire city is doomed thanks to you. Hmm, I can't decide whether I want our death to be painless for my sake or excruciating for yours. Land! Impossible. That's impossible! Jesse? There! Can we get to it in time? It's gonna be close! You're down here too? Lucas, you made it. Oh, yeah, only slightly worse for wear. Ah, gotta say, Aiden's tougher than I remember. Got me pretty good. Lucas, I'm really sorry I didn't try to help you up there. I only had a few seconds. Everything was happening so fast. No, no, don't worry about it. Aiden was, uh, <laughs> stronger than I was expecting. It was good of you to try and save the founder. Uh, speaking of whom, is she okay? She's just sort of staring. Uh, let me ask. Founder? Miss Founder? I, uh, hope she's not in shock or something. You, uh, doing okay over there? I just, I... I can't believe it. <sighs> this has been down here the whole time. I forbade anyone to look for land below us. It was too dangerous. A, a lost cause. Well, land is gonna be a pretty big game changer for you guys. I mean, it's gonna change everything. Yes. Look at this place. Totally untouched biomes all around us. Yes, it's all a little overwhelming. What, what do I do now? Well, how about you start with a few deep breaths? <laughs> Seeing all this after you've been crammed on a tiny island, that would be overwhelming for anybody. Miss Founder, ma'am, this is pretty big, so just take a minute, enjoy the sights, breathe it in. Yeah, getting back up to Sky City might be a little exhausting. Getting back up? My word, you're right. We need to do that. I hadn't even thought that far ahead yet. made some big mistakes. He's probably in completely over his head by now. He's so stupid. I can't leave my subjects in whatever trouble they're in. Jesse, will you please help me get back to Sky City? Stop Aiden. Help me protect my people. I'll do it, but I'm doing it for your people, not for you. I... Yes, yes. Of course. Thank you, Jesse. Okay, getting back up. Getting back up. Let's see what we've got to work with. Hmm, huh, that'll work. What is it? Ah, oh, I see where you're getting at. Nice. Well, would someone care to explain it to me, please? Get ready to build the tallest thing you ever built. What? I'm gonna build a tower of dirt all the way back up to Sky City. Grab as much dirt as you can carry. Oh, okay. That should do it. Jesse, what is that? Uh, what? What is it? It's the other half of the portal that brought me here. Man, 
What a relief. I mean, once you get that flint and steel back, it should be a straight shot home now. Well, guys, you ready? Yes, I, I think so. I, uh, I think I actually gotta sit this one out, Jesse. Eden got me pretty good. I'm just not sure I'm up for towering all the way back up there. But I'm really sorry. I probably wouldn't be able to keep up anyway. Sit back, Lucas. Jesse's on the case. <laughs> I knew you could handle it. There you go, buddy. Thank you for trying to help. It was very noble. Hey, what's with the last goodbye tone? I'll see you guys when you get back. Oh, give Aiden another punch for me. Will do. Come on, we've got an epic climb ahead of us. We've got a city to save. You ready? I believe so. And when I get up there, I'm going to tear those blaze rods limb from limb. Oh, and Jesse, I appreciate what you did up there. Trying to save me, I mean. under attack by monsters, ma'am. Everywhere. They seem to be coming from inside the palace itself. Come on, we need to stop him. I'm sorry, Jesse, but I have to save my people. Take care of yourself out there, okay? And to you as well. Jesse, you're alive. Please, can you help us? Hang tight, Milo. your feet. But with all seriousness, how are you alive? I saw you go over the edge. Okay, quick version. You know how you all thought there was nothing but void below you? Yes. Yeah, that was wrong. There's land. You speak truthfully, my friend? Well, I can't wait to hear all about it later. I gotta get to the palace. Thank you, my friend. We'll see you on the other side. <laughs> Aiden has taken over the palace. He's holed up in the throne room, throwing those spawn eggs everywhere. No one can get inside! You need to stop him. I know. Jesse, take one of these. They're all locally sourced and handcrafted. I use only the best ingredients. Give me a potion of speed. Here!
I go fast. Back down and get out of my face, Reggie! You're delusional, Aiden! The people of Sky City will never bow to you! You killed the Founder! Yeah? Well, you're gonna be next if you don't... Aiden, you've lost! I saw you fall! You went down! You're alive! You're alive! Is the Founder with you? Ah! What the... Reginald! Not one more step! I killed you once! I could do it again! Just you and me, Aiden. Just you and me now. Just... die already! Should've left while you had the chance! Someone else in the spotlight, can you? You just can't let anyone else win. It just drives you crazy to see someone else succeed, doesn't it? Aiden, I am gonna kick your butt. I can't wait to see you try. the 
Pepper Source. Yes, ma'am. Everyone, stay together! Jesse, there you are! Jesse, the situation is getting out of hand. We simply can't stop all the monsters and protect my people. The longer we stay here, the more danger my people will be in. I guess we could jump for it. Waterfalls. The waterfalls can take us to safety. What? Are you crazy? The waterfalls will just take us into the void. We'll die if we fall down there. But there's nothing but monsters up here. You all just need to trust me, okay? Everyone just watch me and follow my lead, okay? has done nothing but help us so far. I will show you just how much I believe in Jesse's word. you enough. You've saved us all. So what do we do now? Everything's just so different and scary. Just take it slow, okay? You guys have been isolated for so long, you, you don't want to get overwhelmed by all this real world. Uh, 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 I wonder what happened to Aiden. Hey, cards. Check out what washed up right next to me. Uh, freeze, criminals! You're not going anywhere! Now, this is just speculation, but I'm guessing they have some regrets. I knew they wouldn't get away. <laughs> what goes around comes around, am I right, guys? Attention! Attention! Hello, hello, everyone, please. This is your founder speaking. Now that we're all safe, we need to organize. Start planning our new community. Are you listening to yourself? That's insane! We were prisoners long enough on that island in the sky. It is time for us to run free. Build whatever we please. Wow, those two just cannot get along. Jesse, I cannot allow my people to be influenced by this naive idealist. Bah! I'm sure I do look like a naive idealist through the eyes of an oppressive dictator. What? Hey, both of you, fighting isn't going to solve anything. It will if I win. Oh, of course you'd think that way. No, you don't understand. It will be night soon, and that is when the monsters come out. If we don't prepare, we'll be in danger. You're just making excuses to control our behavior, just like before. We must trust in ourselves, be able to learn from our mistakes. The people need to build! W what do we do? Who are we supposed to listen to? Of course the people can build, but we need a system, some rules. Rules aren't bad. This is all very confusing. Well, I think you're both right. You don't want to just run around with no plan, but you can't schedule and organize everything either. People need to be free to try new things, but you've got to be safe about it. I suppose I still have much to learn. Thank you, Jesse. I don't understand yet, but I trust you. Well, Jesse, I suppose the era of Sky City is over. We may disagree about how to run this place, but I thank you for everything you have done. I guarantee that we will be telling stories about your visit for many, many years to come. The day that Sky City was liberated. 
This is a second chance at making a civilization. Don't waste it, okay? I don't intend to. I give my solemn oath. You know something? She was a little scary at first, but she's all right. <laughs> I'm gonna miss that crazy guy. I guess we should prepare for nightfall too. Without another portal, we're stuck here. It's been a while since I've had to start from square one. Ugh. Just when I thought my days of punching trees were behind me. Well, you shouldn't worry so much. I've got our way home all figured out. When I was on the ground with the Founder before I totally found the portal. And you didn't say anything? Yeah. I'm actually gonna have to agree with Ivor on this one. Did I not mention it either? Because I could have sworn I said something. No! You didn't! I guess the moment just never presented itself. Come on. Oh, hi. Ah, oh, there you are. So sorry about her. That's okay. Looks like she's having fun running around. Yes, I think she took it pretty well when I told her she didn't need to be the Eversource anymore. What are we gonna do with you now, huh? What are you going to do now? Besides, continue to be adorable, of course. <laughs> but that was a given. Now that you don't have to run everything yourself, maybe you could use the time to travel. There's a lot to see. Yes, that's a rather nice notion. How would you like to go explore some of those, um, very tall vertical rocks? We call them mountains, usually. Lovely. After so long being the founder and the Eversource, now we can just be Isa and her best friend, Benedict. Ah, that's a boy's name! Huh, what a closed-minded attitude. Jesse, I would be honored if you would take this as a small token of our gratitude. Thank you. Come along, Benedict. We have a lot of adventures ahead of us. Well, there goes the Eversaurs. Off to cluck and peck at seeds for the rest of its valuable life. Hey, Jesse. You okay? Jesse? No, I just saw those pigs and, you know... Oh, yes. He would be really happy to know you're still having adventures like this. See? Just like I told you, one portal back home. Ugh. I just can't wait to put this whole world behind us. Oh, is someone being grumpy? No! A little. I was just hoping for a real treasure, is all. <laughs> Livestock's no proper treasure. Although I wonder what would happen if you put that tiny crown on a different chicken. Come on, guys. Let's go home. We don't Axel and Olivia here when we've been. They'll never believe it. That's not what I was expecting.